division this year. Uh, seven to two, seven and two record over the Cubs right now. Uh, Ryan, if I had to give you one standout team in baseball this year so far, what would it be? The one that surprised you the most? That surprised me the most. Um. I would have Whether to that be, say... It could be good or bad, too. I mean, if there's a team at the bottom of the list that you think maybe they the shouldn't Chicago really be there. The Chicago White Sox. <laughs> yes. I, I just think... have to say this right now. How does it feel to stay in last place right now in, their, in your division, huh? Pretty if, good. You're talk, right. if you're talking if you're talking to me as a race fan, I find that very offensive, okay? Okay. Well, <laughs> well the Tampa Bay Rays are another story. But... Um, Again, Chicago White Sox in last place. I have heard from many people, and by many people, I mean many people, that the, uh, the White Sox are going to do amazing this year. And, you know, they've only played nine games this year. I mean, you have uh, over, like, 150 more games left to go. So um, I think they have tons of time to adjust. But... I was expecting they're not, the White they're not Sox. Gonna, they're not going to make the playoffs. Let's be honest here. Any White Sox fans that are listening, I can sympathize. I sympathize with White Sox fans. My mom's a diehard. I mean, if she's listening right now, she's going to hurt, hurt me for not saying that coming to the playoffs. But the White Sox are not a good team this year. I'm going to say it like you need to be said. Like it needs to be said. They're not a good team. They're a young, exciting team. You may think Matt Davidson's going to win the MVP, Ryan. No, he's not. He's a guy who hits bombs, but that's it. He hit three bombs in the first day. He hits one in the past um, eight other games. So.